Dear uh, doc, uh, Dr. Basu, I bring in all the greetings and wishes to you from uh, Speed Institute for scoring a topmost rank in any SS uh, AIMS 2021 uh, in the field of uh, specialty of MCH Surgical Oncology. Thank you so much, sir. I think it's your wishes and all the faculty that have contributed to training us, uh, you know, bit by bit to come to what we have achieved. It's a great opportunity for me to interact with you and uh, and it's a great occasion to uh, talk to you regarding how you did this. And before that, I want to know from you, uh, from where you did your uh, MBBS and where you did from your MS. So, can we know some of your details in the background? I am from Calcutta. I did my MBBS from Kalinga Institute of Medical Sciences in Bhubaneswar. So I, I was a uh, I, I got the state gold medal in surgery back then. So I was always into surgery, uh, and then I did my MS from Bakura Medical College, that's in West Bengal. So there also I was the best postgraduate. I got a gold medal in surgery, and then I decided I would go on to either CTBS because of my uh, because of the rotation we had, or something like a surgical oncology branch or a yes <laughs> surgical oncology branch or a uh, or a gi but apparently when i started seeing patients i realized that 90 percent of what we operated on or say 60 to 70 to 80 maximum of them are were all cancer cases and how general surgery unit manages them is completely different as to how a oncologist will manage them so um that is where my interest started to develop and i was always into research so, um, because uh, firstly, before the pandemic started, I had no intention of staying in India. I wanted to go to the UK. I almost finished up with my MRCS. I completed my DNB, but then I was like, in a pandemic situation, I think uh, that dream is totally gone. So, I had to adapt to it. And uh, so, that is where oncology, because I am into a lot of research. I like to write papers. I like to operate at the same time. And uh, that is how my, I'm not pretty used to a commercial practice base. So that is why surgical oncology, that is why, and I also like to teach, that is the thing. And part of the inspiration is also from you. Thank you for good words, great words. And uh, and why is surgical uh, oncology specific? You are interested in research. Why not medical genetics? Because genetics can, uh, anybody oh, no, can will, take that to will be too much. That will be too much of the medical oncology medical side. burning on my head because I am a surgeon, I like to operate and a part of and whatever research. I am operating will be into research, not all of that jargon, I can't do that. Great. Now, can you share uh, some of your uh, preparation strategies? Well, when did you start? How did you start? And uh, can you take us through the journey that you... Yes, so definitely. Far? I've been with Speed almost for a year and a half, I think. Uh, just before our, uh, just before the first lockdown happened, um, I think uh, we had three papers, we had completed three papers of our MS and the final one was left. So that is when I'm deciding see, UK is not going to happen for me. So I have to stay back. So uh, I came across uh, the speed modules and I also took a few reviews from my seniors uh, who had actually cracked urology in central institutes. And then they were like, yes, you go for it. And uh, partly because we have the UG base and we know the speed team is always good with everything. So there is no second doubt about it. So that is where we just, I called up and uh, I think Dhanesh was one of my managers and he actually helped me with all the subscription and everything. So uh, I would also agree to the fact that uh, the, the notes, the initial phases actually helped me in my MS practicals and the part of the theory, I could reframe my answers there. Part of it helped a lot, but actually, in a from a general surgery background, coming into a difficult subject subject like oncology, we have to mature with the subject because there are very less seats. We need the time, and of course, I mean, I I am not somebody who can cram up books, so uh, I need to understand the subject. So it took me the time. I'm I'm happy, but at least I'm happy with the rank, and uh, I think. That is what. So uh, it it I I I gave the first neat exam. I got a rank of around 350 there. So uh, then I realized that if I work a bit harder and I improve on it, and I think I will be able to go for it. And then I based everything on what Ravi Shankar sir and what Karthikian sir had actually taught us. That is the base. And then when I started giving exams, then I realized there are a few loopholes which I need to correct. So uh, my seniors, my college seniors who actually cracked oncology, they told me that 
you have to read devita so devita is another big uh, book it is very difficult to read so part of it i started because back in uh, april i contracted covid and i was working as a senior resident in arjikar medical college which is very like which is a high volume institution and we're almost operating seven days i'm not getting much of time so that is when i'm doing my secondary dnb also so uh, so i did my dnb in general surgery back then finished up the practicals and it was very hectic so after a year almost i mean year into this sr ship and uh, then i'm deciding see i uh, i can't take so much of burden so i i i finished off i i scrapped the idea of sr ship and uh, just before the exam say two months i left all everything and then i started revising now uh, what i did was all of the notes which um, sir had given plus the books and i started adding in stuff and i, I made uh, a one pager like i was very inspired by shivang last year because i think he's also my batchmate and he did a very good job summarizing devita which we he, we had the uh, you know we could share and we could see and our colleagues were doing so well so we took a bit of inspiration so i'll just show you i made one pages like this i made okay. one pages out of this like all of the notes i could so i could revise them so this is how i mean i could make algorithms and try to retain them and i also made a separate uh, notebook where i'm writing all the genes and everything because they are extremely volatile and uh, this is about the oncology part and about the general surgery part i think there is no better thing to trust blindly except you i just did what you said many times i would miss your classes but again uh, uh, coming back home i would just put on my headphones and i would listen to the classes even if i could not see the videos or sometimes if i can't see the videos i'll just see the slides so i started with the general surgery notes that we had given then the belly then the sebaston that is how we built and like you had always said we carry it with us so it helped me in my uh, secondary dnb it also helped me in this and i'm happy i don't have to take the gyne and ent again in neat that is what i was yeah you have been out of uh, the other specialties absolutely absolutely so i would just say one thing that speed notes are gold standard and then as to what you've been saying and all for the motivation i mean every time we used to get depressed i every time i'm thinking it will not happen it will not happen and then sir you're coming every day almost thrice a week every day you're telling us you know surgeon should be leading the hospital it is absolutely true and that is that is what i think a mentor does and that is where all the credit goes to very nice very nice we I mean a very precise and a very useful and appropriate summary of what you did and uh, i i want to ask you how many questions did you attend out of 80 sir i attempted almost 80% of the question paper and i got a 67% marks that is something around i think 53 over there and then the viva total it came down to 70 so uh, okay uh, i i might have bossed up a few questions but anyways i'm happy at least i got the seat because aims actually is a high stake exam it's not like our neat because it's it's a plus 4 minus 1 and over here it's a minus 1/3 which means we are actually losing out more so that is one strategy which we need to uh, prioritize and the more mock tests we give the better it is so that is why uh, all the mock tests which speed gave us i mean with all the changes in the pattern and everything sir you have always been supportive one call or one whatsapp message to the entire team everything gets fixed so i mean <laughs> who gives us such a support sir honestly i am saying so this is this is one thing all of the managers you were also there all the faculty members were also there everything is just available so and and those tests are actually Uh, sir initially when i started it it went up to 45 50 that is when everybody gets frustrated so uh, then again working on it working on it working on it it came down to that 64 65 that is where we are understanding that yes probably this is where i need to correct uh, so introspective uh, you know assessment of all the tests see what are the high yield areas and then correct them that is how i think it might have worked for me great see i always believe in uh, people working from any specialty from scratch and uh, to start build brick by brick brick by brick like that and uh, then uh, they create a whole value for the preparation and then put across the exam full fledged 80 out of 80 all out and go there and hit it and then get the result grab it then do what i wanted to do in life and i am totally independent of what i have done so far 
and uh, the something is phenomenal. The kind of satisfaction right now that you carry with you, it's complete. And uh, this uh, success will take you through miles. And your career is settled, finished. And uh, just a question of time, everything will go on from here. So, I really, I am really happy and impressed the way you have worked, the way you have put things systematically and uh, you have gone through all phases of change in patterns and everything, whatever you want to do. And uh, you have gone through the system and you have been successful. That's very important end of the day. Whatever I do, efforts are important. More than the efforts, results are very important. And that will uh, speak about the uh, efforts. Results will speak about the efforts. So, uh, I am really glad that uh, you made it. And I once again wish you all the best and all the success. Uh, as a surgical oncologist in years to come, and the speciality for your research that you could contribute, uh, could be uh, contributed to each other. And uh, wish you all the best. Thank you so much. I, I need your blessings for the years to come, definitely. Sure, sure. That is always there with you. And my wholehearted wishes to you. And to come up uh, as a great surgeon and a surgical oncologist. And that is going to happen. And anyway, it's, it's, it's happened already. <laughs> it's happened already. <laughs> and it is the, I mean, the delivery uh, that is, that we are at to come and it will come wonderfully. Okay. And you will serve a lot of patients uh, and your patients will be more benefited about the dedicated service to them. And I'm very confident and we'll keep in touch. And the surgical uh, speciality is always a close speciality. <laughs> we'll keep meeting again and again. Definitely, and, uh, definitely. And hopefully we'll meet again. Okay. Definitely we'll meet again. On a different occasion. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay then. God bless you. Thank you so much Bye. for your wishes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.